Okay, so here's another twist on side plank, and it's going to be for the arm that is free. So not the arm that's down on the ground, obviously, because that's your stabilizer, but the arm that you kind of sometimes don't know what to do with, I'm going to give you something to do with it. So you grab a dumbbell and you would go right into your side plank. Now you can do this if you're in a modified side plank. You can do this in a staggered side plank or a stacked side plank. That is up to you. I'm staggering for today. So you're going to grab your dumbbell. It's going to be in front of your chest here. You're going to lift that arm up to the ceiling and then you're going to bring your arm down to the side. And you're trying to do this without letting your torso move at all. Up and side. Now I've done this in... Um, the side arm work video, very simply laying on the floor on your side, which you can absolutely do if you're a beginner. This just offers a little bit more of an advanced challenge. Good, and switch sides. It's definitely a crazy core work exercise because you're holding that plank. You're trying not to dip against the weight of the weight. <laughs> and you're trying not to let your body rotate here with that gravitational force, stay nice and strong. And of course, as always, use a weight that's appropriate. <laughs> use a weight that's appropriate for the strength of your arm that is free. And because we're working in that shoulder girdle, as always, whenever, whenever we do that, I say make sure you're working a little lighter to begin with because you don't want to put that rotator cuff at risk. If you lift that arm up out of control, you can really do damage. So make sure that you're working not only with a weight that's appropriate for you, but working with total body control. I aim for 10 to 15 reps of that. It's a challenge. Good luck.